Hey everybody, welcome to my first book review. So before we start, I just want to give you a quick heads up of what I'm going to do. So I'll give you my introduction as always. Then I'm going to do a quick description of the story. It might have a few spoilers, so I do apologize in advance. And then I will rate um, three particular aspects. So I'll do the three C's. I'm going to do the content, the characters, and then the cover, because I'm also a visual artist, so the cover is a big deal to me, um, and of course to everyone who goes in the bookstores and sees it off the shelf. So let's get started. So the book I'm going to review today is called Mycroft Homes, written by Karim Abdul-Jabbar, yes, the basketball player, and Anna Waterhouse. So some people may say that I'm a big fan of Sherlock Holmes, um, you know, I guess I do like them a little bit. Uh, and ever since I was little, I've loved everything mystery. So if you find a lot of mystery reviews on my page, that's why. Even though Mycroft Holmes is popular in the BBC show Sherlock and appears in Sherlock Holmes' A Game of Shadows with Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law, Doyle only mentions Minecraft briefly in the Sherlock Holmes canon, so the true character of Minecraft was always a mystery. In this particular novel, his past is explained. It's the year 1870 and Minecraft Holmes is a university graduate and is beginning his life. Um, he has a beautiful fiance, Georgiana Sutton, a great position in the Secretary of State's office, and great friends. So, all's going well until, one day, a close colored friend of his, Cyrus Douglas, gets news of terrible ongoings in his home of Trinidad. Children are being brought to their deaths by evil spirits. So shortly after receiving the news, Mycroft's fiancé has decided to leave to visit her family on the island. Wanting to solve the case and chase after her, Mycroft goes on a dangerous journey with Cyrus to solve this mystery. Of course, nothing ever goes as planned. Um, Mycroft and Cyrus, they have attempts made on their lives several times. All the while, these two friends press on to find the answers to the murder of Trinidad and figure out who is trying to kill them. So the first thing I'm going to rate is the first C, which is content and style of writing, but that, that's in parentheses so it doesn't count. Anyway, it is written in third person and it's focused mostly on Mycroft and Cyrus. Uh, the story flowed nicely from one chapter to the next, nothing really dragged out too long or too short. Um, the transitions fit pretty well, and the story itself had a decent pace. However, I was surprised to how many fight scenes there were, and um, how well the characters just got up and moved on to the next adventure. So, um, I mean, the ending was also quite predictable. I'm going to try not to spoil it too much. But um, we kind of all knew from reading it that, you know, it was Georgiana who was attacking them and um, then, you know, stuff happens to her and the stuff on Trinidad. But the story itself was still enjoyable. The second C is the characters. Mycroft and Cyrus are a great pair and one couldn't survive without the other, um, kind of literally. Mycroft knows what he is doing in terms to solving the mystery. Very, very, very similar to his brother Sherlock. In that sense, Mycroft's character isn't really that original. Um, he doesn't appear as the giant pudgy fellow that Arthur Conan Doyle portrayed him to be, um, but rather a really handsome, muscular man. So, And as for Cyrus, he's a brave, intelligent, colored tobacco shop owner, and he's really awesome. He's not Dr. Like, um, like Watson, but he knows his stuff and he can get around. Even though the two never saw eye to eye, they always had each other's backs. The final C, the cover. So, when I was at the bookstore, I had no idea what this was at first glance. The first thing that popped out to me was his name. I didn't even notice the title. Um, it wasn't until my friend came with me that she took a good glance at it and said, Hey, this is a book about Mycroft Holmes. Now, I had been down that mystery aisle I don't know how many times, and I did not even realize it. So, you know... If that's going to happen on a cover, that's not good. Now, as for its color scheme, I'm going to say the analogous colors of red and orange really do go good with the murder mystery part of it. But as for these additions of the chains, do you see them? They are cool, totally. But it doesn't really make sense until you've read the story to the very, very end. 
So, I mean, overall, the cover is not terrible, but the overpowering font of the author name, in my opinion, really, really took away from what the cover and the title actually is. Finally, the star rating portion. Yay, we made it! Okay, so for the content, I give it a 4 out of 5. For the characters, 3 out of 5. And for the cover, 2 out of 5. Now, the story was an interesting take on the tale of Mycroft Holmes. Um, even though it was kind of a predictable plot, I personally, you know, I liked it. It wasn't terrible. Um, and people do have trouble with so many fight scenes and how descriptive they were and how long they took, but I liked that portion, kind of. I could really picture the action in my head and it helped me with my own descriptions as a writer, but... You know, everybody's different, but overall, I say that the book was enjoyable, and I would recommend it to Sherlock Holmes lovers if they're looking for something to help solve the mystery of Mycroft Holmes. Thank you guys so much for watching my first book review. I hope you liked it. If there was a, anything else that you'd like me to rate on it, just let me know, or if there are any other books that you'd like me to review, just let me know, so feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also to check out my website and see the other work that I do. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time! Thank you.